Good day researchers, good day grade 8 students, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tin May, and here comes another lesson vlog. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. We are now on our Week 8, Module 8, in Science 8. Last week, we discussed about electricity, the relationships between current and voltage. And this, and for today's lesson vlog, this is a continuation of our topic last time about electricity. And this time, we're going to discuss about the disadvantages and advantages of series and parallel circuit. There are two learning competencies that you should learn in this module. First is you have to explain the difference between the advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel connection. And the second one, you have to explain the functions of the different safety devices at home like the circuit breakers, the fuse, earthing, and many more. Before we proceed with the first learning competency which is to explain the difference between advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel connection, let us uh, let us define first what a series and parallel connection is. Now, I will give you two figures, this one and then this one, and then I want you to identify which one is a series connection and which one is a parallel connection. Okay, very good. This is a series connection and this one is a parallel connection. Now, what is the difference between the two? A series circuit is a circuit in which resistors are arranged in chain so that current has only one path to take. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, dito sa series circuit, para siyang, di ba kapag sinabi natin chain, ikumpara nyo siya sa isang necklace na meron lang siyang isang single path kung saan dun laang dumadaan, dumadaan, doon lamang dumadaan yung current, doon lang magpo-flow sa isang hanay na yun. Kung baga, iisa lang talaga yung dadaanan nila. That is a series circuit. Okay, paano naman kapag parallel circuit? Ipag-compare natin itong series at saka parallel circuit. Kitang-kita nyo na ang difference. Sa series, only one path lang siya kasi iisa lang yung pinaka-chain niya. Pero sa parallel circuit, kung mapapansin nyo siya, is meron na siyang mga branches. Okay, how are we going to define a parallel circuit? With a simple parallel circuit, the components are connected between the same two sets of electrically common points, creating a multiple paths for the current to flow from one end of the battery to another. Upang mas lalo pa nating maunawaan ang pagkakaiba ng series circuit and ng parallel circuit, pag-usapan muna natin ano po ba yung mga rules in this kind of circuits. Upang mas lalo pa nating maunawaan ang pagkakaiba ng series circuit and ng parallel circuit, pag-usapan muna natin ano po ba yung mga rules in this kind of circuits. So this time, unahin muna natin ang three important rules in series circuit. Okay, number one, the current in all parts of the circuit is the same. So makikita nyo dito sa, ipapakita ko sa inyo, ito, yan. Okay. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung total uh, electric current is equal to the current ng una, ng ikalawa, at ng ikatlo. So, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, pare-pares lang yung dumadaloy na, na current dito sa series circuit. Ano? Kasi pare-pares lang talaga ang electric current. Okay, pagdating naman sa voltage, ang ating rule for series circuit is that the total voltage is equal to the sum of all the individual voltages in the circuit. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron tayong tatlong voltage, kung meron tayong tatlong load, magkakaiba po yung kanilang voltage. At pag pinagsama-sama natin yung mga voltage na yun, it will result to the total voltage. Okay, again, kung sa electric current, pare-parehas po sila, pero this time sa series circuit, when it comes to voltage, magkakaiba sila. And again, the total voltage is equal to the individual voltage of each of the in the, in the circuit. 
And for number three rule or the third rule for series circuit, the total resistance in a series circuit is equal to the individual resistance of each in the circuit. So we have the formula RT is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on, kung madami pa. Okay, tulad lang din siya sa voltage. Ano, sum lang din, uh, yung total voltage niya is equal to the in the, uh, sum of the individual voltage. So, sa resistance, ganun din. Ganun din. Okay, so, ibig sabihin to summarize, sa series circuit, ang magkakaparehas lang dyan is yung electric current. Pero magkakaiba na yung kanilang resistance at saka yung kanilang voltage. Okay, now, let us talk about the three important rules for parallel circuit. So, bakit tatlo ulit? Kasi i-discuss natin kung paano magkakaiba-iba yung kanilang current, voltage, and resistance. So, for the first rule in parallel circuit, okay, pag-usapan natin ang kanilang electric current. The total current in a parallel circuit is equal to the sum of currents in each branch. So, parang ang nangyari naman yan, ikagaya naman ng voltage and resistance dun sa series. Kumbaga, uh, magkakaiba ang kanilang electric current sa bawat branch. And then, pag pinagsama-sama natin yun, it results to the total current. So, meron tayong formula na current total is equal to current 1 plus current 2 plus current 3. So, depende na lang kung ilang branches ang meron doon sa inyong parallel circuit. Kung may walo kayong branches, so, aabot tayo ng I1 hanggang I8. Second, okay, the voltage across all the branches in the parallel circuit is the same for each branch. Okay, so, dito naman, okay, ang magkakatulad naman ay voltage kapag sa parallel circuit magkakasame level lang ang voltage ng lahat ng branches at ng total uh, amount ng voltage sa isang parallel circuit. Compare sa series circuit, ang sa series circuit naman ang magkakapareha sa kanila is yung electric current. Pero sa parallel circuit, ang magkakatulad is yung voltage. Kaya meron tayong Vt is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 kung hanggang tatlo lang ang branch mo. So kung mas madami pa dyan, mas pwede pa tayong umabot sa mas maraming voltage, okay? And for the third rule for parallel circuit, when it comes to resistance, so paano ba ang rule ng resistance naman sa parallel circuit? The reciprocal of the total resistance or equivalent resistance in parallel circuit is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the separate resistances. So, paano formula niya? So, we have 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So, depende na lang kung ilang branches ang meron kayo. So, again, this is reciprocal lang. Ano po? Okay, sa mga bahay ninyo or sa school, ano ba yung kalimitang ginagamit natin? Are we using the series connection or the parallel connection? Paano mo malalaman na siya ay series or parallel connection? Okay, ganito lang yan. When loads are connected in series, commonly, the loads will tend to have a common switch. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Okay, uh, usually sa school, sa mga hallway, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag clinic nyo yung switch, and then makikita nyo isang hallway, lahat kung sampo yung ilaw doon, sabay-sabay silang magbubukas kapag pinindot mo lang yung switch. So, ibig sabihin, connected sila in series connection. Magkakapareha sila ng current, kaya pag pindot mo nung switch nila, isa, tigigisa rin sila na, or iisa lang din yung current na nadaloy sa kanila. Pero kapag parallel circuit naman, yan naman yung magkaka iba ng switch. Okay, for example, sa bahay, kung series ko nakakabit ng series connection ng lahat ng mga appliances nyo, ibig sabihin, pag binuhay nyo lang yung isang switch, buhay na agad ang ilaw, ang aircon, ang TV, ang electric fan, ah, kaya ang inyong rice cooker, and all. Ganon kapag series circuit. Kung baga, para silang magkakadugtong kasi nga, ba isang chain lang yan. So, pag pindot mo ng isa, lahat buhay. Pag patay mo ng isa, patay lahat. That is for series connection. Pero pag parallel connection naman, yan naman yung magkakaiba sila ng switch, kaya magkakaiba rin sila ng flow ng electric current. Ang magkakatulad lang sa kanila is yung voltage. Kaya, kung baga, pag namatay yung isa, hindi, po, hindi maaapektuhan yung isa. Kasi nga, magkakaiba sila ng dinadaluyan. Kasi magkakaiba sila ng pathway ng current. Kumpara sa series circuit na iisa lang yung dinadaluyan nila. So, ano naman ang pwedeng disadvantage nito? Siyempre, sa series circuit, kapag 
na sira yung isa, nagkaroon ng uh, aberya doon sa isang bumbilya or sa isang ilaw, maaari na maapektuhan na yung lahat. Kasi nga, iisa lang yung pathway na dinadaluyan nila. Okay, for example, ayan yung isang bilog. So, pagdating dito, nasira na yung isang sui, na isa, nasira na yung bumilya or yung ilaw. So, hindi na siya makakapag-travel dun sa mga kabila kasi dun pa lang parang na-block na siya. Compared sa parallel circuit na hindi maaapektuhan nung isa yung kabila. Naintindihan? Very good. Okay, what more are the advantages and disadvantages of series and parallel circuits? So, let us talk about this. For the advantages of series circuit, number one, a switch can be added to turn on and off. Next, number two, we also have all loads are the same and share the same powerhouse. Kasi iisang chain nga lang siya, eh, di ba? Okay, next. Number three, advantage, series circuits don't quickly heat or don't quickly overheat. This makes them very useful in the case of something like dry plants or fabrics that may be around a potentially flammable source. So, yun lang ang maganda sa series circuit kasi hindi daw siya nag-overheat ng mabilis. Okay, and number four, so we have the power devices can be added more. They have higher output in terms of voltage. A series circuit has the greatest advantage of being able to add additional power devices usually using batteries by giving you more power and this will significantly increase the overall strength of your performance number five in a series circuit the current that flows with will flow through every part in the circuit therefore all the components in a circuit uh, in a series connection are carrying the same current. Ayan na nga yung tinukoy natin kanina na pare-paras lang sila ng electric current. Okay, ano naman ang disadvantage ng series circuit? Number one, if the series circuit breaks at one point, the complete circuit will split. Okay, yan na nga yung sinabi natin kanina na kapag namatay yung isa, maapektuhan na lahat ng naandun sa buong circuit. Okay, and number two, as the number of components increases in a circuit, the circuit resistance will be greater. So, tataas yung resistance ngayon kung tumaas din yung circuit. When loads are connected in series, the loads will tend to have a common switch. This kind of connection is employed in school halls, street lights. The problem with this kind of connection is that when a load develops a problem, the other connected system will fail. It's an all or none type of a circuit connection. Till a load gets energy before it delivers it to the other room, and the one to deliver fails, there will be a blackout. Now, let us uh, gain more knowledge about the disadvantages and advantages of parallel circuit. of a parallel circuit. Number one, it has independent components. Okay, ibig sabihin, magkakaiba sila ng switch. Okay, a failure of one component does not lead to the failure of the other components, unlike in, unlike in series circuit. You can turn your appliance on or off independently of each other. Number two, it has constant voltage. Pare-parehas ang voltage niya. They ensure all components in the circuit have the same voltage as the source. Number three, it allows for additional components. This permits the, addi the addition of components into the circuit without changing the voltage. Dahil pare-pares nga ang voltage kapag sa parallel circuit. External components don't increase resistance. Okay, unlike din sa series na tumataas ang resistance kapag tumataas yung current. With more pathways in parallel circuit, resistance can be reduced even more. Okay, baliktad ano. Next, number four. It is very simple, safe, and reliable. For any electrical contractor, a parallel circuit layout is easy to, to build. Okay, mas madali siya, tsaka mas simple, tsaka ito talaga yung ginagamit natin sa ating mga bahay. Okay, now, let us talk about the disadvantages of a parallel circuit. Number one, 
lot of wires are required in parallel circuits or parallel combination. Siyempre, dahil iba-iba ang pathway nila, iba-iba ang branches nila, iba-iba ang switch, mas marami tayo ngayong mga wire na kinakailangan gamitin sa parallel circuit. Number two, the power stays at the same voltage as that of a single source of power. We cannot increase or multiply the voltage in a parallel circuit. Okay, and number three, the resistance is lower in parallel circuits. Baliktad sa series circuit, ano? And the number four, voltage is equalized as branches are applied over the entire chain. And number five, have more than one output device or power source. Okay, dahil nga sila independent, magkakaiba din talaga ang kanilang output device. Parallel circuit connection is very common in use. Various lamps and electrical appliances in our homes are connected in parallel so that each of the lamps or bulbs and appliances can be operated independently. For us to have control over the individual lamps or loads, they have to be wired in parallel. This is the end of our lesson vlog about the disadvantages and advantages of series and parallel connection. For our next lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about the different safety devices at home. See you on my next vlog. Again, do not forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. This is me again, Teacher Tin May, ang kasama mo sa iyong science journey. Bye and see you on my next vlog.